Want a sneak peek into my life as a brand designer? Today, I'm taking you behind the scenes for a day in my life as a graphic designer. If you're new here, I'm Mariah, a luxury brand designer and strategist, and I work exclusively with female entrepreneurs to help them build high-end brands. And today you're getting a sneak peek behind the scenes of my life and my business. Every weekday morning, I wake up at 5 a.m. to get a jump start on my day. If you wanna know what my morning routine consists of, check out this video, a 5 a.m. morning routine for entrepreneurs. After my morning mindset time, I get dressed for the day. I do my hair and makeup and get ready to go into the studio to start my work day. At 8 a.m. I had to work in my home office and today is a Tuesday, which means that it's one of my designated client days. I break my week into different categories depending on the day. Like I mentioned in my video, time management and productivity tips for ambitious entrepreneurs, I pre-plan and schedule all of my projects in advance. So when I show up to work at 8 a.m., I just have to look at my calendar and my planner and know exactly what I'm supposed to do. Tuesdays and Thursdays are my client days. These are the days that I work on my VIP client projects, I take meetings, and I do the bulk of new client project work. Today, I'm focusing on two clients. I'm launching a new brand client, Cheryl Moore, and you'll see some of her logo designs later in this video. And I'm also working on a VIP client, tightening up a design for an opt-in that we've been working on over the last month. I get asked a lot how I got into graphic design, and I did not always know that I wanted to be a graphic designer. In fact, there was a long time where I didn't even know what graphic design was. I actually started as a wedding photographer back in 2009, and in launching my little wedding photography business, I became obsessed with the concept of branding. I just saw how powerful branding could be and how it could help me really transform my business and build it into something bigger, better, and help me really grow as an entrepreneur. So I went back to school to get a degree in graphic design. After school, I worked at a marketing firm for about a year and a half and then decided to go full time as an entrepreneur. So as I mentioned, right now I am working on an opt-in, also known as a freebie, for one of my clients for her brand. And she's been coming back to me with some edits to the copy, so I'm just tightening it up and cleaning it up so it's ready for her launch. I'm working in a program called InDesign for this particular piece. I work mostly in Illustrator, then InDesign, and then Photoshop for my graphic design work. I'm working in InDesign on this piece because it is a multi-page document and that's really where InDesign shines. Now I am hopping on a call with my client Cheryl. We meet via Zoom and we are going over several different logo concepts for her new branding. I always like to meet with clients on Zoom so that I can discuss the different options, why I designed the logos the way I did, and help them figure out which one is the best option for their brand. After we narrow it down to one design, we go over different edits we might want for this first round of revisions. So here is the concept that Cheryl chose during our meeting. I'm taking a quick break after that meeting to make a cup of tea, and then I will head back to my computer and work on revisions. We're already planning another meeting in just an hour with updated concepts. Cheryl and I both felt like this version of the logo was nearly there. We just wanted to see it with some different font options. So that's what I'm doing here for her revisions. Mm -hmm. 
Now I've got another quick Zoom call with Cheryl just to show her several different options of that original logo that we both loved. I'm showing her some different font options and different ways that I have reworked the logo to make it really perfect and timeless. Something that she can use for the lifetime of her brand. And yes, that is my 90 pound German Shepherd hiding under my desk chair. I don't know why, but she likes to squeeze herself into the smallest spaces and she always likes to be right next to me when I'm working. I don't mind it though, because I love having her company. During this meeting, the client decided to book my brand stationery design suite which is an add-on that I offer with my brand design. So we're just going over different sizes and options for her stationery. And now I am taking a break for lunch. Today I'm making steel cut oats with some fresh fruit. Along with the fruit, I like to also add a cinnamon to my oatmeal, a little bit of agave syrup, some chia seeds, and some flax seeds. I don't really like to take a break for lunch. I'd prefer to just power through and get all of my work done. So if I am stopping to eat lunch, I will typically bring my laptop out or eat at my desk and try to work while I'm eating. Today I am working on some edits that I got back from my copywriter for my own brand redesign. After lunch, I head back into my office and get back to work. During our last meeting, the client chose this logo option, which has a slightly different font than the original version I created. So what I'm doing now is, since we have the final version of her main logo, I am working through what I call the logo system. I'm creating a whole suite of logos for various applications. So you'll notice that first one was pretty tall, but that doesn't always work in every single application you'll need your logo. So I create some that are more horizontal, some that are more vertical, and these are what I consider secondary logos. Continuing on with the brand system, now I am designing what I call a sub mark. It's just a little mark that you would use throughout your different brand elements, but not necessarily the main logo. And you'll notice a lot of what I do when I'm designing is just trial and error. I have ideas of how I want it to look, but sometimes the translation from my brain to the artboard something gets lost or it's not quite right. And so I play around a lot to see what looks best, what will work best, and what will be on brand for this particular client. So now that I've landed on a submark that I really like for this particular brand, I'm just continuing on with the brand system. I'm bringing the color palette into the system now and doing some various options with those submarks in terms of color. to the final piece of this particular brand system, I am designing a custom brand pattern for this client. 
The client Cheryl had mentioned in her creative brief, which is the questionnaire that I send out to all my clients before we start their project, she had mentioned that she really loves feathers. And so I thought that was so unique, especially to Cheryl. And since this is a personal brand, I wanted to really play off of her personality in that way. So as you can see, the logo incorporated that hand-drawn feather design that I created. And now I am creating a recurring pattern with the same feather illustration. I think this will be a really fun and unique touch for Cheryl's brand. So I've just wrapped up her brand system design. It's 3 p.m., which is the end of my workday. So I'm shutting down my computer and I'm going to head out of the office for the day. Thank you so much for joining me for this day in the life of a graphic designer. I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes look into my business. If you've got any questions, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.